Before we get started, I just wanted to take a second and thank everyone here for helping me hit an absolutely insane milestone. Yesterday we hit 2,000 subscribers and I could not be more thankful. You guys are absolutely amazing and I could not do this without you. And if this is your first time here, uh, please subscribe. I make videos like this one every single week. Well, it's finally happened. You know, we've covered a lot on this channel, from doomsday cults to creepy flyers trying to get you to tell them your dreams and creepy phone calls trying to get you to stay home. But we're finally here. Aliens. Astronomers searching for signs of life beyond our Earth discovered something really strange. A radio signal that as of right now is still unexplained and seems to be coming from the direction of the star closest to our sun. This star that is approximately 4.2 light years away is called Proxima Centauri, and to top that off, there's at least two planets orbiting it, and one may even be temperate and rocky like Earth. Breakthrough Listen, which is a 10-year search for alien broadcasts, was using Australia's Parks Observatory to study the star. And that's when the team detected a peculiar signal, which they named BLC-1. Now, these research teams and searches aren't anything new. These have been going on for well over 50 years, starting with Project Ozma back in 1960. But while the teams and searches might not be new, what they're searching for definitely is. Unlike radio waves that the universe can produce naturally, the signals they're searching for are expected to look nearly identical to the transmissions humans use to communicate. And these signals would cover small ranges of radio frequencies and would have some indicators that the source is moving away from or towards Earth. And that would, by definition, immediately make it non-terrestrial. But non-terrestrial does not necessarily make it alien. So let's put on our skeptic hats for just a second, which for the record, very hard for me because I'm a firm believer in aliens. But the most logical explanation for these signals would be that they're coming from an orbiting satellite. And I say that because during orbital motion, satellite transmissions are known to rise and fall in frequency. But still, Every part of me wants to believe that this is in fact aliens, but I still have to approach it with a question. What are the odds of this highly trained and educated research team accidentally tuning into an orbiting satellite? Well, it was news to me when I found out that there's actually more than 2,700 satellites currently orbiting our planet. But let's say it isn't a satellite. Where does that leave us? Well, according to a member of the Breakthrough Listen team, only human technology seems to produce signals like the ones that they witnessed. This can be seen in our Wi-Fi, our cell towers, GPS, and even our satellite radio. But all of that looks exactly like the ones that they're searching for, and that's what makes it so hard to tell if something is from space or from human-generated technology. But it's also entirely possible that the signals are actually from somewhere much farther away and Proxima just happens to line up with it. You can actually see a real-world example of that just next week when Jupiter and Saturn will appear to line up in our sky. Now, there have been several attempts to reobserve Proxima to replicate the signals, but the group has found nothing, and now their scientists are hard at work developing new tests that can pinpoint the signal's origin. But at the time I'm recording this, all the things that I mentioned are just theories. And the last time I checked, alien life attempting to contact or communicate with us can be put in that exact same category. So, for now, for tonight, I think we're going to have to add the strange signals that Breakthrough discovered to our never-ending, always-growing Tales from the Dark. <laughs>